The following video may contain views and opinions that differ from yours. If you don't like it, tough shit. Alright people, so don't think this is a call out video because it's not. It's really a video just to provide some advice for my mates because I've already spoken to a couple of you but there's a few others out there that I'd like to talk to about basically the videos that are being made on Killer Creed. Now a few of my mates have been making several videos on Killer Creed and it's just kind of concerning me a bit. And I know that's sort of ironic coming from a guy that has basically inspired my mates and myself to make multiple videos on the likes of Stetson Hardwick, Dustin Nunn, Michael Mattis and their friends. But the difference here is, Dustin, Michael and the Pedo Squad, and Stetson, all legitimately mean the repugnant crap they've said. All of them mean the shit they say, thus the callouts. Creed, on the other hand, is a shit tier troll. And every time you guys make a video on the idiot, he's getting his kicks. And it's just inspiring him to keep doing what he's doing. So my suggestion for you guys is basically, don't. Stop giving him that ammo. Stop making videos on the guy. Stop getting amped up. Stop getting rocked up. And stop giving the attention seeker what he wants. Because he is a troll. And he is a shit troll. Trolling is an art form. It shouldn't be as subtle as a brick to the testicles. Because that's basically what Creed's trolling is. The reality is Creed is getting at you guys in a number of ways. Be it talking a lot of shit about you guys, or me, or whoever. Because that's basically what his exposed videos are. They're just videos full of him talking shit. It's why I never bothered responding to that one he made on me. Because anybody that watched it knows he's full of shit. And it's not like it's done any damage to me or my reputation. Because everybody watching that video knows he's full of shit. In fact, I think that the only ill effects it had was it gave me 10 extra subscribers. Which put me over that 1100 threshold on my old channel. And the only ones that it really sort of drew in were two idiots that had problems with me anyway. He does it in the form of hypocrisy by calling people out for shit he has no room to call them out on. And he's not doing it accidentally, he's doing it on purpose because he somehow thinks that's funny. You know, the stupid comments about, you used my real first name and my last name, that doc thing, when he's actually doxed people in his videos. Then he does that silly shit where it's, oh, I'm taking you to court, son. What you're saying is slander. You can't prove anything you've said when clearly he said that shit in his videos. And he knows it. He's just trying to play the whole, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm innocent. Bullshit. And then there's the idiotic claims. The clearly, patently untrue bullshit. Like, claiming he's going to take us all to court, or that he's talking to a lawyer, or that he's good-looking, or that he actually has a fan base, or that he's successful, you know? It's all just shitty-tier early 2000s message board trolling. And some of y'all are taking the bait. And it's not even good quality bait. The reason that Jake the Mistake keeps doing this shit is because you guys keep biting. Just ignore the idiot, okay? Because really, what's he doing? Is he damaging you in any way, shape, or form? No. His videos are so asinine and ridiculous that nobody believes him. Have any of you guys gotten any backlash since he started in on you? No, you haven't. In fact, the only adverse effects are... This imbecile keeps hanging around some of your channels. And the only reason he's hanging around your channels is because he knows you bite. Every time you make a response video, there's the palm tree sitting there rubbing his greasy mitts together laughing. 
because you've fallen for the bait again. You're doing exactly what he wants you to do. And the thing with Jake is, he's doing it for himself. He doesn't have an audience. So his shitty attempts at comedy and trolling are for the benefit of three people. And he's all of them. He's not legitimate in any of the things he says. He doesn't believe any of the shit he says. He's a liar. He's full of shit. He's just winding everybody up because it amuses him. As I say, he doesn't have an audience. He claims, oh yeah, I'm successful. I've got 1,600 subscribers. A majority of those are fake. I would say all but a small handful are fake. Look at the guy's videos. He forgot to turn off the dislike bar on the last one. And he's only got like, what, one like, which I'm not entirely uncertain isn't him, to 17 dislikes. That's why he turns off his ratings, because he knows he doesn't have fans. He knows that most of his subs are fake. The only reason he's doing this shit is for the benefit of himself. His sense of humor is garbage, but he's making himself laugh. And that's why he keeps doing this shit. To get a rise. I guarantee you, if the palm tree wasn't getting attention, he'd get bored and bugger off. But as I say, people keep biting, so the troglodyte keeps doing the stupid crap he's doing. It's not good trolling, it's not even funny. It's just pathetic. The guy's entire life seems to be based around starting internet drama with people. And when you're a grown man, that's just sad, man. That's where you actually have to look in the mirror and reevaluate what you're doing with your life. And if you guys ignore the clown, don't pay attention to him, don't give him what he wants, he'll bugger off. Like I say, I didn't get angry, I didn't go rrr, I didn't make a video tearing apart his stupid, exposed video on me because it was a load of absolute bullshit. I didn't even know where to start. All I did was make a sarcastic apology video, which had so much sarcasm it could knock out a rhino. It didn't give the dude what he wanted. Don't give him what he wants. Ignore the clown. Go on your merry way. You guys make some fantastic quality content. All of you. Just keep making that quality content and leave this idiot to play in his sandbox by himself. It's the smart option. That's how you get rid of your palm tree problem. Ignore it. It'll go away. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.